welcome and thank you so much for being here. We're going to do a collective and timeless reading. So whenever this reading finds its way to you is the right time, but keep in mind it's a general reading. So see what signs, symbols, messages, energies resonate for you in your particular situation and hopefully help to bring you a little bit of clarity on whatever you're wondering. It could broaden your perspective. Narrow your focus, help you see something with fresh eyes in a new way, in a new light, but in the end, always trust yourself. The divine inner guidance, it's inside of you. And try to make balanced decisions between logic and intuition so that your decisions are sound based in love and for the highest and greatest good of everyone. So we're all uplifted in love. Let's begin. We're going to start with the wisdom of the Oracle. Let's see what God, Source, Holy Spirit, Christ, Consciousness, our higher selves, angels, and energies of love have for the highest, greatest good of all. For the opening foundational energies and messages to be helpful and insightful, please. And thank you. Oh, we have an unfinished symphony. So there's something that you started and did not finish. It could be procrastination energy. You need to get back to the drawing board on something. You need to put the final touches on something. It could also be there needs to be an ending, a conclusion, um, a conversation to bring um, closure to something. But I feel like this is something you want to continue. Um, cause a symphony sounds amazing. Um, it's number 10. So that is a little bit like the wheel of fortune coming on in, giving you a little push to get back to something. Um, what is in the sky? At first, when I looked at this, I thought it was a caduceus, but I think they're butterflies. So... This is you completing a project that was not quite finished before. Um, maybe taking a test, coming to a conclusion with something. It could be making amends as well. It's something that is kind of, it feels itchy or weird because you, you, you know you have to do something. You know you have to have a conversation. You know you have to finish something. Um, and once you do it, um, I see that finale. So it helps you move along either in that same situation to the next, um, movement. <laughs> I like that. Or, you know, it takes you to the next chapter, but it's like you're, if you're starting to go into all these other new chapters, I kind of feel like something is nagging you to go backwards a little bit here. Get another card from this deck clarity on unfinished symphony oh wow well, you have imagine coming through so if this is an idea that you've been sitting on here thinking about way too long maybe you started it in the past that can be anything it can be a project um, your position in something a partnership you in connection to something that you're thinking about in your imagination, in your dreams, in the ether, it's up there, but you have to, like she's grabbing the moon, like she's standing on this stage of spiritual light here. It's both elevating you and grounding you. You had to step up to bat on something and put energy into making those dreams reality. You can, you know, it's there, you know, you can do something, but you have to start to put energy into it, make the plans, um, have a conversation, make a move, take a step in that direction, because you'll start to see how something that was in there starts to be real in your real life. It's beautiful. This card is you getting creative, um, making something happen, making the right moves, manifestation that comes from imagination. Um, 
you do have to stay grounded because when I think of imagine and I think of the ether, don't get lost up there. You have to dive on up there into the ether, but then come back to earth and see something in reality and see what realistic steps you can take so something can happen. Let's get one more, um, one more card. That's a 10 and 20. One more card from this deck, please. Oh, wow. You're opening your heart. Maybe it's 14. So maybe this really involves the truth of your heart. Somebody could be opening their heart to you. There's a golden mask here. So maybe you saw the gold behind a situation. You saw the juicy part in the book and not just the fancy cover. Maybe the cover looked torn and tattered, but you could see that something was truly valuable underneath. It's truth be told. So this is recognizing the truth in a situation, seeing something in a realistic perspective, making a wise choice because it's the owl here and balanced because it's 14 like temperance. So it's balanced between wisdom and your thoughts and an open, truthful heart of integrity. It's being truthful in your heart because that's what opens the door. That's where the door is. That's where this window is this window of opportunity. And it's like, once this door is open, your heart is open. Maybe somebody else's heart is open. Maybe it's truth. You have a conversation about feelings, emotions, something like that. All of these beautiful floating hearts burst out like confetti. Maybe because there was a mask there, you didn't have the whole truth before in a situation. Something was kept a little under wraps. You could have been keeping something to yourself. But this is you having clarity in communication and yet accepting something out of, uh, at face value. But it also could be you finding out the truth and stepping out of the energy of denial. Um, because when you see, when you know, when you know the truth of something, then you can make the right decisions here with manifesting what you believe in or recognize how to finish up something so you can begin something new. Um, I keep hearing wrap it up, but that makes me think of a gift, which is not in there. What is over here? You have serendipity. I see a gift. So, um, maybe you're getting a gift. I, I, I kind of see a gift. Um, I know this is random, but I see like shampoo, <laughs> I see sh shampoo or like hair products, um, maybe pasta. So, um, maybe as a side message, sometimes extra messages come through. It doesn't matter what cards come through, whatever they help resonate and comes out is still a message to be heard. So maybe some of you are doing something, um, organizing a charity. I feel like it's an event. I, I don't know why I see one of those things where you, um, drop the ticket in to win something. So maybe you're an artist and you submit something to a local community, or you're the one organizing different businesses to come together and provide something that people can like it's like you're betting on it, but all of the proceeds go to something beneficial in the community, to a good cause. Um, maybe some of you, it's just a gift or a token of time and attention. Maybe it's not a physical thing. Um, it, you have serendipity here. If it is a physical thing, I feel like your heart is going to open up like that. Like somebody really heard what you said, maybe just one time on something that you were into or you, you mentioned maybe randomly in conversation and somebody heard you and took like, check, check, took a little note that that is something that you liked and they remembered it and maybe gift you something that feels like it's like, Oh, it just feels like with that open heart, like it's something really special. It just kind of like, really you like you remembered that i said that 
I don't think it has to be anything big. It's just someone kind of touches you or it's you maybe taking a little mental note of something that somebody said sometime or something that seems really helpful or personal to somebody else and you get the right gift. I That's what I'm getting with that. And at the bottom, you do have serendipity. Not only are you manifesting what you are dreaming of, you're having luck on your side. It is a little like the Wheel of Fortune. This is serendipity is being at just the right time, at the right place, with the right tools, meeting the right person, having the right conversation that opens up doors by divine orchestration, by chance. It's following your gut, following your instinct on a move you have to make, some place you have to go, a conversation you have to have. Look at that gigantic four leaf clover. And this girl is just jumping for joy. You have two cards that are very similar where you are reaching for something that is up there, an opportunity and, and pulling it down. But here it looks like you're going for a ride, almost like it's pulling you up like a balloon. Even the clovers are following you. This luck is following you. That one you can't miss. But there's other opportunities that are coming along for the ride with you. It's 18. It is like the moon. This is where things aren't just a coincidence. A cool winky dink. It's bigger than that. It's more personal than that. It's where the things you're thinking in your mind are synchronistic to what is manifesting around you in your real life world that you can see, smell, touch, feel, hear. This is when your fortune feels like it changes, where things are finally aligning up for you, when you feel like things are good, where you have this lucky kind of energy about you. So sometimes it starts with saying yes to that one thing, stepping up to bat one time. Um, that one little move that you make opens up more. I keep seeing the like charity thing. So if you feel like you're offered to do something and maybe, maybe you're not getting paid or it's a donation, donation of your time, your attention, um, your talent, something like that. And you feel like, you know, I don't do that. I'm a professional. My time is valuable, but you feel that there is something valuable in it. It's the cause it's giving you maybe, um, a new platform to work with or in a new place in a new position with a new person, um, or just offering you a chance to have something that makes you feel like you have a little growth and something that you're into, I feel like you should do it. I feel like everything else, that luck will come in later. The, the opportunities will start to flow because you're doing something for um, like beautiful reasons just because you can. So I hope that was helpful to you guys. I was only going to pull one card from that deck, but um, I kind of like the messages that came out, although I'm not sure what I said. <laughs> I hope it was helpful. All right, let's go to the divine feather. What is a divine feather message? Let's just do one from this deck. Message four. Collective to be helpful, please, and thank you. What is this? Oh, a meadowlark. It's like a little taxi bird. Look at the little, I like they put the little, um, the little feather here. Smile. You will soon experience a wonderful journey of inner discovery. You're going to find out something about yourself you never knew. Hey, that's kind of fun. Maybe a facet of you, a talent you had inside of you buried down there. You didn't even know you'd be amazing at it. You didn't know how you could handle something. You didn't know this experience that was coming in your life would bring these beautiful changes in you. 
It's like you're beaming sunshine. Um, is there a song by Michael Frumpty? I think I got his name wrong. And um, the, the Sound of Sunshine, I think that's what it's called. Um, I'll find it and I'll put it below. Spearhead, I think that's the other, the band he's with. Smile, you will soon experience a wonderful journey of inner discovery. These are the beautiful facets of you. Parts of you you're proud of, or gonna be proud of. I feel like this discovery is just making you beam more and more bright. And I, I saw the taxi, like I said, taxi bird. I always think those little birds, yellow birds, I call them taxi birds, but maybe it's about a taxi or getting a ride. Um, maybe side note, like Uber or Lyft or something like that. Who knows? You can have a conversation there. Also, if you're a driver, you have the chance to, I don't know, I mean, it's kind of like one of those times you get to talk to all of these different people. You can make a difference in anybody's life doing whatever you do. So maybe it's even that. It was kind of an interesting side message to come through. Um, I've met some really cool taxi drivers in my life. I've had some really good conversations in taxis. It could be that you're riding with somebody, um, maybe even a, a bus. Um, maybe you're the driver, but maybe somebody's coming along for a road trip or a ride with you. You have a cool conversation in... Um, in the car, that's kind of what I see. All right, let's go to, well, I auto grab this. So let's do this one. Um, I wanted to do the spirit messages, but this is the Love Angels Oracle card. So maybe we need to get a little Love Angel message. What else is going on in the energy around the collective right now? I didn't even pull and that one wanted to jump out. Unbreakable love. This person has genuine love for you, so you can overcome any issues that may arrive. If you were wondering if somebody really loved you, that love isn't going anywhere. No matter how your love may change or how a relationship um, evolves, grows, um, the love is always going to be there. It's pretty solid. So however you need to overcome issues or obstacles or what you need to do, I feel like you are going to work something out. But let's get another card because that sort of snuck on out there. What's another message for the collective? Please and thank you. Um, break me, shake me. I think that's a savage garden song. I'll find that and I'll put that below. Oh, well, all right. Little extra message that needs to slip on through is the twin flame. So, I mean, that would be an unbreakable love that's going to be for eternity and beyond and always was and always will be. Um, so if that is your journey right now, Know that there is no, the love is not going away. It isn't going anywhere. It's just that that is probably a situation that is undeniable, unpredictable, unfathomable, um, hard to explain. Um, I hear, I heard irreplaceable. <laughs> it just is. It is what it is. And it's probably the most difficult thing you've ever been through. Um, and it's not an easy lesson or journey because it's your soul's true skyrocketing elevation to, I always feel like with that kind of relationship, it's not just to catapult your lives in change and elevation. It can change the world to have that kind of union come together. It's not just, it's not just a, um, normal union it's not just a power couple it's this divine emergence that's been orchestrated by source 
So if you're in any energy of worry, just don't worry. It will work out however it is. It's about a journey. And if it's you and someone else, it's journeys together to come together how they should. And um, it's not going to be an easy journey. But it's going to be fun. It's going to be a good ride and it's going to be powerful. So this person is your mirror soul. You don't have to put that label on it if that's not for you. This is someone that does feel different than anyone else you've ever met. You constantly mirror each other in your energy. You are the yin to the yang and the yang to the yin. And there is a certain connection that feels, I heard uber again, so maybe you needed to hear that, but uber um, sacred. It doesn't feel like a normal crush. It doesn't feel like a karmic partnership. It is just something that's unexplainable. Um, so that makes sense to some of you. To others, it will make sense when this comes in your life because it's gonna feel like that this big old clover came and all of a sudden you're on a ride, you're on the ride. <laughs> and it would also be the never ending unfinished symphony because this is not something that you're gonna tie up and get over. It's always gonna be there. So other relationships, partnerships, soulmates are something where you can change, move along, have a new chapter. Um, if this is coming through for you guys to hear and it's unbreakable love, it is because it's just always going to be there. So where you are in the symphony, whatever movement you're on, be in it. Whether you're together, whether you're waiting, whether it's past, or you're alone. Be in that moment, like music, like dance. Be in the now that you have, because that's what you have. Whew. All right, so let's get another card. Um, little twin flame card has been sneaking out here and there recently. Um, I feel like with that one, I should probably go a little bit romantic. So this is the love and romance, and then we'll we'll kind of bounce back and do life and career just to keep some balance in this reading. What is a romance and love message to be helpful for the collective? Thanks and thank you. I know I put it in a, a I know I put it in a playlist before, but I keep staring at that and hearing um, it's a bittersweet symphony this life where you try to make ends meet, then you're slave to the money and then you die. That well, the song. So I'm gonna put it below again. Maybe I can find it by maybe a different artist so I can switch it up a little bit. Sometimes I like to do that. If a song comes through twice, <laughs> I hear it loud and loud and clear. Oh, I just noticed that there's a face in that egg. You just heard face to face, and I think that's daft punk, maybe. But there's something that you're incubated on. Um... I don't know. I don't know why the face needs to come out. Maybe you haven't met somebody yet. You've sort of seen them in your dreams or something like that. Or maybe I'm getting that you can, for some of you, you can picture somebody's face loud and clear because here you got the mask. You can really see the truth inside somebody's soul even if it's underneath the surface here or the surface is being covered. Um, I'm getting that you can close your eyes and picture somebody's face just as perfect as if they are right in front of you. Um, but that can be anybody in your life. Maybe it's something about somebody's face. Um... 
I saw that piano and I thought of Billy Joel and then I thought of the song Vienna. It's a pretty song. What do I even have? A love and romance. Sometimes in the shuffle I get extra messages. All right, one love and romance card to help the collective right now, please, and thank you. Charisma. I really like this. Love flows to you and you radiate charisma and charm. And then you have this radiating sunshine. Charisma is an energy. It's a really beautiful energy because when you're charismatic, it's truth. <laughs> and integrity just radiates from you. Doing something because you can. It's a generous energy. It's um, having a little bit of charm. You do have this, you know, four leaf clover kind of energy, but it's being charming naturally, like spiritually charming. <laughs> like you're not trying, you just are, or that's what you see in someone else. I put this up right, so let's take this little wish here too. Wow, that's almost like this. Someone you wished for is coming into your life. And remember, this could be a specific person that you're thinking about. But when it comes to people, everybody has free will. We're all different places. We all have many different facets of who we are. We're in different chapters. And it is very possible if there is, I mean, it's a big universe out there. It's a big world. There are endless possibilities of who this could be. So remember to never have a lid on a box because you could believe that something was meant for you, but it is possible this is something very strong to prepare you. It doesn't mean that there's not this unbreakable love. Souls can know each other forever. But a mirror soul is a different thing. But it is possible there is something in your world that is preparing you for where you're really supposed to be, who you're really supposed to be with. And for some of you, it is exactly what you think. For some, it's going to be a big surprise. And once you see it, you're going to feel it. You're going to be like, oh, I just saw something the wrong way the whole time. But that got you ready. For this wish all right let's continue um it's just interesting with um collective readings because everybody has a different journey so i do get different messages um that come through um but whatever you know in your heart you know it's not for anybody else anywhere me your friends your family anybody to tell you otherwise on something that you divinely know. But if there is some kind of connection, it eventually needs to come to a conversation and, and emerge, <laughs> merge of the energy so that you can figure that out. Okay. Let's go to, hmm, let's do this. I said I would do the law, uh, life and career, right? So let's, let's do that. Except I have the clarifying, what is this one? Clarifying life. Where is the other one? I guess for right now, let's do clarifying life. One message for the collective. Why don't I do a little scan -a of what's around me to try to find that. Oh, there, I think it's over there. Is that it? Yeah. Here we go. <laughs> so we'll do this one. Maybe this one needed to pop on through now too. So let's get one message on clarifying life situations. Um, I am getting that I should do it the other way this time. So let's go, it's a big, big deck and I have big hands. So what message would be helpful right now in clarifying life situations, that one. 
scales of balance. Nice. Well, there's your harmony. Harmony's call. Didn't you get that before? Isn't that one of the messages? We have the unfinished symphony here, which is harmony. Harmonies, call, embrace equality, pursue justice, harmonizing the energies to manifest a balanced and just income. This is so, it's that charisma. So it's for the highest and greatest good of all in the process and the timing that it needs to take. These scales aren't always balanced. Nothing is here. We always have polar opposite energies pulling us all different directions all the time. So to be in constant balance isn't realistic at all. You're, you're here and then you're here and then you put a little bit over here, but it's keeping yourself grounded, tapping into spirit source, your higher self, God. And then looking at your energy like a big old spherical ball. So you can always try to find this. Because you know the difference when something is balanced. You know the difference when you're wobbling because something feels too heavy and you're not lifting something up or letting something go or giving something else the right amount of attention. It is a constant rebalancing that needs to happen in our lives. The scales of balance, this is telling you. If you are overwhelmed in career, you're all about the work and you're not having any sassy romantic time to yourself, you know, or going out if you don't have a partnership, if you're not letting yourself have this open heart or this chance to have possibilities or just let loose and have a little fun and do things that make your heart smile, then you're out of balance. You're being responsible, but you're slacking somewhere. And if you're all about emotions and so overwhelmed in what you're going on and what your heart is feeling and all that, and you're not being logical or realistic or putting work into these gifts that you have, these things that you have to finish, letting this charisma shine, doing what opens your heart going on this beautiful self-discovery inside of you, then you're not going to get yourself in the right vibration to attract these beautiful things that will help restore your balance. First, you have to do the work. Seek equilibrium in love and career. Harmonizing your inner scale to weigh decisions with both heart and mind. And that's what you're going to be figuring out on this internal, beautiful journey of sunshine. Where do you feel like your inner sunshine glows more? Who is it around you that feels like sunshine? You. What in your life feels like a blessing and an opportunity that you can't miss like a gigantic flying four leaf clover that came out in technicolor spiritual light right in front of your face as an opportunity. Hey, there you go. That's your opportunity. Take it. You going to go for a ride? I looked at this, so let's take it. <laughs> Sometimes I just sit them on my lap. So this is thrive. Well, that's feeling alive and belief. Look at the potential there. Look at the potential growth. Something is new and it's fresh and it's young and it needs time. Embrace growth. Trust in the promise. Keep an open mind. Answers reveal the path to fulfillment. Something will come out. Something will sprout. You have a beginning waiting for you. Seed of potential is uh, I think it says pant. Where are my glasses? What does it say? Pant. Is that something you do with seeds? Pant the seed and 
of potential and nurture its sprouting promise with your attention and care. So it's attending your garden. But first you got to take that idea, the potential partnership, the potential in yourself. You got to ground it in the earth, give it some deep roots, give it some nourishing energy and time and attention and have patience. So where is that career one? Let's get one career and life oracle card. What does this reflected need to know? The seed of potential, serendipity, skills of balance, and it smells like coffee, offering, offerings. I see something before about the, the gift baskets or you offering your time um, or your art or something like that. Also, the coffee makes me think of something that's either wake up, wake up, hey, time for a great day, or that neutralizing thing when you smell a lot of perfumes and then you smell some coffee and it neutralizes it so you're not overwhelmed with different smells. So when I think of smell, I do think of, well, smell somebody smells good hey but i think of um triggering memory because smell can do that so it could be like lots of memories and you need something to bring you back to neutral back into the now somebody could have a great offer for you this has a lot of potential for growth in the future you will be offered a new position or investment opportunity think about it and research it carefully before accepting you don't need to rush into something you feel overwhelmed by too much attention too much too many ideas you know you feel like those scales are going all over the place bring yourself back into balance first and then give an answer when you're ready if something smells fishy it's <laughs> trust it if it smells a little bit off if something smells like like that smell like ooh, what is that and like it's like a cartoon and it's like I see like a cartoon what is that where they like they're like they're like floating and they're drawn in by the smell of breakfast or something like that then maybe follow that trail that was really quick so let's get one more else would be helpful for the collective to know I, I think wow you have quite a few so let's look but first and foremost I want to show you that these are really different decks of cards so I guess you you guys have some messages today that need to come through we're gonna take them all man Good luck. Fortune is improving. It's on your side. You'll get a lucky break soon. Collect nuggets of wisdom because you will need them in the future. Weed out the bullshit from the truth, from the golden things that are valuable. It, wow. What else do you... Oh my gosh. I'm so glad that these call popped out. <laughs> so... Whatever I said before, when I saw nothing down there that had to do with a gift, but I saw a gift or a gift basket or your gifts, they could be spiritual gifts, but there is a gift. There is something that has to do with a gift. It says you are uncovering. Where is that? There. You're uncovering. I, I know that. It, I, I hope, I don't know. Maybe I can even find that part of the reading. If you could, if you remember what marking it was where I talked about you discovering the things that you never knew about yourself or whatever I was saying back there, there you go. It's coming through. So you, so you hear this again, you are uncovering new talents that will land you new work and a better position. You could get more money with that deal as well. So something will open up. You have success. The path that you're on will bring you success, prosperity. If you just keep going, lots of little steps take you along the way. You're on track. And freedom. Sometimes that is success to feel free 
that's feeling like you're, where's that thing that says you're thriving and feeling alive. Just going with the winds of change. You need to have more flexibility with your schedule and your income. Being self-employed for some of you is ideal because you can, you know, you can, I don't know, maybe have more control over this balance. Maybe for some of you, it's just doing something on the side. Time off will help you get clear. Look at you, like shouting to heaven, like, yeah, it's like you're fist bumping God. <laughs> like, yeah, angels, yeah, give me one. And here you have a new beginning. There's that egg that you were sitting on. Now you got this little nest, something's ready to hatch. It's a good time to start a new job or a whole new career. You have creative ideas that get you noticed. Build a nest egg for the future. Maybe it's having something to fall back on, but I feel like this is that good investment. The nest egg is having that one thing around you that you know you are always secure. Whether that's property, a partner, a position, This is a lot of cards that needed to come through. There's a lot of big messages for you guys today. I did not even get to the tarot. So that they, they, they flow how they flow. Um, sometimes I begin with the tarot. Um, but what tarot to use now? I bought this one, so let's do this. This is the Brit's Third Eye. It's a little bit different. Um, I don't even think I necessarily have to clarify. I think everything is sort of morphing together very nicely, but in different arenas of your life. So let's just get a couple of tarot messages. What the collective needs to know that would be helpful on the energy going on right now how to move towards these new beginnings, these big changes, this lucky energy coming in. Freedom, success, gifts, smile, double luck. With a coffee, I just see a coffee shop or a cafe, something like that. And with this one, I don't know why, maybe for some of you it has to do with adventure or travel or some kind of sport. Like I think of a hiker or camping or I like, hear like adventure sports, but I don't know what that is. Maybe it's just an adventure. Um, I hope that makes sense to someone. It also makes me think of, um, I mean, if you're there, what would be, what would you want to do? I probably want to take an amazing picture. I mean, maybe just sit and see that beautiful sunset too, but I'm getting some photography energy but not just a normal situation. I'm getting photography and amazeballs places of the world kind of thing. So I hope that was helpful for someone. I don't think you have to be a professional photographer, um, but maybe that's something you become if you always enjoy taking pictures. What is the foundational message from the tarot, please and thank you. Oh, nice. We got this Queen of Swords. I love the Queen of Swords. I mean, she would be the one to make the moves, to bring something back into balance. Um, the Queen of Swords does have to remember to its opposite of this. She can be all in her head and not as much in the ether. 
all in Thoughtland. But she's really smart. This is Gemini, um, Aquarius, or Libra. She knows how to bring something back in the balance. I feel like she's really good at standing up for others. Um, she's really good at conversation. She cuts, she just, she doesn't usually want to talk, like, get into bullshit. She just cuts to the chase, gets to the point, the matter, gets to the heart of the matter. She's not afraid of how she is received, which is sometimes why she's not always received wrong. Unless she's upright, she knows how to adjust how she speaks so that same information is heard. She's, she's, she's keen on quick thinking, turning on a dime, being able to be adjustable in her mind. I feel like she does speak up for others. If she sees um, injustice or imbalance around her and someone who can't quite speak up, she'll speak up. She'll be like, uh-uh, mm -mm, you don't do that. You don't treat my friend like that. You, you show respect. Apologize. <laughs> like, she'll be the one that you're like, whoa. Okay, I mean, I'm sorry. Sorry, man. But she gets respect. Um, she's, I feel like she's very independent. She's usually in a powerful position or should be. Um, but she does have to remember there, look at her delicatage to open her heart. Because if she's all in her head and she's not using her heart, then that sword is gonna cut the wrong strings, burn the wrong bridges and possibly say hurtful things to others. Because upside down, she is a harsh ass queen. She's so harsh, nobody wants to be around her. She has respect, maybe out of fear, but she gets, she doesn't get, she doesn't get loving loyalty. She gets it for different reasons. Somebody wants to be near her because she's powerful when she's upright she's a pretty powerful queen so let's see what is this queen about so either it's you speaking up for yourself you speaking up for someone else you speaking your truth but remembering to have your heart open cutting out the things that are no longer useful or valuable or beneficial to you that are creating imbalances in your life. Making solid plans towards the future. Oh yeah, you're manifesting. You have these plans. You have these thoughts. Possibly you do have these big dreams and now you're making magic happen. You're starting to see reality as, as um, like spirit transformed into something solid. I just thought of quantum physics and I don't know why I thought of that. Like, I don't know, it's just mind boggling. Side note, when you like tap that wood, you know, you have this object and they seem solid but the closer you look, the closer you look, and when you get down to the little, you know, electrons and things spinning around, it's actually mostly space. It's almost all space. <laughs> and, and yet it's not. So maybe you do quantum mechanics or it's something like that, or it's that mind boggling. I also see, um, what is it like? when it's all about the observer. I think that's the, the, the split electron theory or something like that, where the, um, the atom goes into the whole different depending on who's observing it. So what are you observing? What are you seeing? What are you involved with? Where are your thoughts? What vibration are they? Are you being the parlor trick magician here 
selling a product you don't believe in, trying to pull the wool over other people's eyes, sell them the bad product, pull the rug out from under them so you can slip out before they notice that your sales pitch in the elevator was complete bullshit or just plastic, not valuable, gonna break? Or are you manifesting true spiritual energy, which is high vibration? It's not energy that takes anything away from anybody else for you to elevate and you to manifest abundance because there's enough for everybody. There is plenty. So the magician is never about stripping anybody away from their power or stripping somebody away from their position or putting something down or having the energy of lack or slack or lower vibration because the real magician knows that tapping into God is power. And when its intentions are for only truth and love and high vibration, you manifest some amazing shit <laughs> that you're proud of, that you believe in. That is you stepping into the I am masculine energy. Look at that huge infinity. It's like you have something in your hands. This is a different energy. I am getting maybe, <laughs> this is like a weird message, but when somebody has something, they're like, okay, pick a hand and you get to pick. <laughs> I feel like you get to pick something or somebody's asking you to pick. I, uh, that's kind of what I see with that. Another message for the collective. And the hermit. You're not only manifesting, you're going into this space within to turn your deep inner light on. It is illuminating your head. Look at this light on you like a spotlight meant just for you. I feel like wherever she walks, if she tries to go over here, that spotlight's going to kind of follow him or her. It's blue, so it makes me think of speaking, communication, a healing heart. She's wearing some like little chiffon thing here. And look at that idea over her mind, that spiritual idea. It's like a fire that is never ending, ever going. This is when you heal, when you go internal, when you might not be able to see, but you can feel something. When you're just how your internal guidance system is, so when you open your eyes, all that writing on the wall that was right there, you have the right light to see it now. You are a guide to others. You act with integrity and wisdom here. It's not sharing your light or oversharing your light and people using it. The best way the hermit comes out of that cave is when they teach. Let's get one more card. It's also a Virgo card. Well, this is a Virgo card. This is a Virgo slash Gemini card. And this is Gemini, Aquarius and Libra. So one more card to bridge it all together. Oh, you're holding on to something. If you're holding on to spiritual gifts at all, or you're holding on to your dreams and holding something way too tight, you're not going to find that reciprocal energy. You did have that one card that said something about giving you... Um, giving you like a cushion or support for the future. This is recognizing what you need to give yourself that little nest egg support that you can hold on to that is valuable to hold because you do have to be aware of in and outward flow of finances when this card comes in. You don't want to be an overspender on things that aren't valuable, that you do not need, but you can't underspend either. If there's something that's valuable, I see like advertising or something that puts that solid foundation, having 
um, certain pieces or things that you have that where you spend a little more money on having something of quality, it will last instead of buying a bunch of stuff that's going to fall apart. It's kind of giving me that upside down magic magician thing, but this is kind of like a little emperor wannabe. It's minor arcana, so you have control over it, but this person somehow can be the miser or like a little bit like the Scrooge McDuck, McDuck energy where it's just all the coins piling up and they don't circulate to have real growth or circulate to have offerings where it can perhaps come back in investment or energy form in different ways, which is more valuable than that stuff getting dusty. So you always have to look at this both ways. Do recognize where you are overspending and where you need to hold on to something. But what are you holding on to a little too tightly in your everyday world that you can let go of and make space for something better to come in? One more. Let's just clarify that Four of Pentacles. Ooh, page. So you could be getting a message. From this page of swords kind of energy the page of Swords. this is i mean she looks like she can use her sword she doesn't have a wooden sword she's got a lot of energy on her i feel like this is maybe a little message more than a person or an energy this is a message that comes that feels like it's a victorious new start with something a beginning it's fresh it's just a page you have to put more energy into something you do have to get, what did it say, the get more information before you sign something. This is getting more information because it's young. It's just a page. It could be somebody else has a good idea you heard about. But this page always needs more experience, not in general or in life. Sometimes, yes, but they need more experience in what they think they know about. Don't be... The person that hears something, overhears something, reads the cliff notes or the little bio and think they know the whole novel. That's when this person's upside down. Or when they are so nosy pants in other people's business that they carry gossip along with them. Or they give the wrong information. They're kind of a little know-it-all upside down. But they, they don't really know it all. Upright, this is a smart cookie. They want to know more. They want to gather more information. Sometimes they sit kind of in the background. This could be somebody gathering some information on you or you're kind of sitting in the background, sort of watching until you know when to make a move. Um, also, a, um, also an air sign. Ooh, we got big ones coming in now. All right, so we're going different directions. Well, this is a big release. If this page was that kind of upside down energy here, and this is so somebody who is always kind of sticking their nose in your business or trying to mess things up, even though they don't know what they are doing, it's you leaving a situation like that. If you have the devil coming in, this is really strong. It could be a Capricorn energy, but the devil means you're ready to release things that are no longer healthy in your life. And you have the strength to do it. This is breaking those chains that bind you. This is making the changes that are necessary and you see in the mirror what is necessary to change. Or somebody else is recognizing changes that need to be made. This is sometimes obsessive energy. This upside down can be a little obsessive. Whether it's in their thoughts, their ideas, but operate, they don't, they gather more information to be expansive, not obsessive. Here, it could also be the too much card. Too much there's something there's too much of too much attention on one thing too much attention on money too much attention on um a 
particular person or a partnership a particular too much attention on success too much attention on things that are toxic person places things vices substances sometimes this is a fun card in the beginning until that reflection starts to look back at you weird all you need to do is look it in the face and it's not so scary and if the card comes through it means you have the proper vibration and strength to look that damn devil in the mirror and say what <laughs> what and you know what then it has no power it's not so scary anymore as you face your fears you face those reflections that you don't like you see the changes that need to be made and you make it happen doesn't mean there aren't dark sides of us that come to surface later or that sometimes our attention gets swallowed or overwhelmed i just heard the song swallowed by bush we're kind of constantly have these mirrors that are held up it could also be somebody has some miserly selfish nosy pants energy and that's the energy they see so they're constantly holding that energy up to you it doesn't have anything to do with the reflection of you so for you to dive into the energy and lower yourself to that is changing your vibration just ignore it or rise above it and be an example for it and when that person is ready to see their reflection to make the changes needed. I I like the devil card. Also, it can be for some of you if it's the too much is in its work and you're not having any sexy time or believing that you should have that because that's lust too. Or yeah, it's like well, no, I guess lust would be the um, strength card, but this is like lusty energy. <laughs> It's not overdoing something. You always have to have those scales of balance because you have to bring something back into balance. You're, you're always late to work and having some sassy time and not getting up and being responsible. That's lack. It could be too much TV, too much coffee, whatever it is. It's just the too much card. What do you need to change so it's not creating an imbalance in your world? so that you start this manifest manifesting process of you being involved instead of letting others control you and put your strings, put strings, ideas, perceptions, holds, chains on you. It's a song, Chains. Um, I'm in Chains. Is that Tina Arena? Wow, that was way back there. All right, let's show you this. This is a longer reading than I thought, but I guess it is how the messages flow. I hope this is helpful for you guys. You have another page here. I mean, so you do have two messages. I look at everything both ways. I kind of like the page of swords upright because it's somebody who's really smart, a little bit too smart for their own good, but they have such a willingness to learn and be expansive with what they haven't heard about before that they have this bright eyed bushy tailed curiosity like what they, they want to hear more about the story and they soak it all in and that creates them changes here it's probably somebody falling in love offering you a message of love this is a little crush And is that a number one crush? I think that might be garbage. So the band, <laughs> not garbage, but this person is creative, innovative, expressive, loving, really in tune with their psychic gifts. It could be new psychic gifts that are coming down for you or someone else. It's tapping into their intuition big time. Look at that big huge cup and she is painting it somebody has a big cup offer for you well, it's going to take a lot of experience to finish everything in there so take your time 
upright. It's overwhelmed in, in emotion land. Um, perhaps getting so obsessed with feelings of something that it's drowning you. We're not using your intuition on how to adjust something. I, I am getting very creative energy here. It's like you're painting the mural of something 3D in your world. It was in your mind, and now you're going to make it real. You're going to make it better. You're going to make it special. You're going to put your own little flair and style on it. Because sometimes it's just a date. Someone asking you out, and it's young. It's all about more and more experiences that bring you to the knights. And those experiences become the kings and the queens. And eventually, hopefully, the emperor and the empress. And if you want to go one step further, the, the hierophant and the high priestess. But it looks like something is just at the beginning. It's just a chance. It's just a start here. Um, I was going to do another tarot, but I think we should sum this reading up right now with um the bird where's my birds the winged enchantment i know i brought them here i know i did they're probably right in front of me yes right in front of me all right so let's get one more maybe it all starts with a mesh with a message with the two pages, something starts with a conversation. Because that's balance of the mind and the heart there between the page of cups. Also, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces with that page. Maybe it starts with just a small conversation, gets the entire ball a rolling towards the success this manifestation this would be somebody with charisma one message to sum this up for the collective please and thank you oh yeah you have a hawk well that's going to have, that's, that's some focus. Also 15, 15, maybe the 15th. Um, hawks are really cool. I always think of the red, red tail honk. That's right. Those are usually the ones that I see. And they usually fly above my car, which is really weird. Birds like to fly above my car. My favorite is when I get the eagles flying above my car. I am Hawk, Majestic, and we're circling right back to the start with Visionary. I am the eyes of the gods. I am the whole picture. I have keen sight seeing everything from every angle. I can see how today shapes tomorrow and how my future steers today. I am advantage and strategy. You will always come prepared. I am circling overhead because you are not yet aligned with your future. Something is circling overhead. It's like that big, it's like that big ass, you know, double whammy thing. It's like, hello, hello, hello. You're supposed to be in this amazing, like gifted, beautiful thing. Come on, come on. It's like giving you these signs, but you have to align yourself first. That's when this really takes off. And that's where these chains break. This is where you're misaligned. your motivations uncentered and your higher mind misaligned. To be a visionary takes more than just 
seeing the path ahead. It's more than just this. You must construct it, shape it, and ensure that it spans far enough to complete your task. Where's that unfinished symphony? One step at a time. Does your current way of doing things support what you seek to accomplish? If not, change course <laughs> and create a new path. I said something somewhere in the reading where you were the one creating your own opportunity. It's that. There are, will be opportunities coming towards you, but you have to create something first. I encourage you to take a look at what drives you. I saw all those cars in the beginning, but what drives you? What fires you up? What gets you moving? Your per perceptivity, you are the light, eyes of the universe, your foresight, and your hawk. And with this, I bid you adieu. I love you so much. Thank you for being here. I hope you enjoyed this reading and found it helpful. And I'll see you tomorrow.